may have seen a viral video going around of a high school valedictorian speaking about abortion. Texas teen Paxton Smith went off script when she decided to make her valedictorian speech about abortion after the state passed a heartbeat law. I am terrified that if my contraceptives fail, I am terrified that if I am raped, then my hopes and aspirations and dreams and efforts for my future will no longer matter. Smith's speech was quickly praised by celebrities and public figures, including former presidential nominee Hillary Clinton, who said the speech took guts. But for this week's pro-life focus, we're spotlighting another woman's response to the viral video. Former model turned Catholic speaker Leah Darrow responded to Paxton Smith's speech, writing on Instagram, Dear Paxton, you seem quite terrified of not achieving your hopes, dreams, and aspirations. I can understand that. However, I'm afraid no one has told you that your hopes, dreams, and aspirations don't vanish with motherhood. Joining us now on Skype is Leah Darrow. Leah, welcome back. What was it about this high school teen speech that made you want to reach out to offer hope and a different perspective? Yeah, thanks, Catherine, for having me. I think what really struck me is the fact that she was so, quote, terrified. And that was a trigger for me because truth is not terrifying. Now, sometimes it takes a great leap of courage and faith to step out into truth and to live truth, but it's it's lies that terrify us and that cause that fear. And so truth should be heard. And I wanted to respond with truth because truth um, should be heard and truth is helpful. And it's really the lies that induce this type of fear. And, you know, Paxton's valedictorian speech was, was full of these contrived lies, these terrified fears that she was holding on to that have really been perpetuated by the feminist movement really long before she long before she was even born right and this idea of fear there seems to be a lot of fear wrapped up in her speech but also that seems to be prevalent in our culture when it comes to fertility doesn't it Absolutely. There's so much fear around this. There's a lot of reasons for that, too. But now more than ever, mothers have more support and resources around them um, if and when they are ever faced with an unplanned pregnancy, married or not. We have more resources for women now than ever before. We have more information now than ever before. But it's good to remember that how this whole conversation started was really not a fear about getting pregnant. It was the fear that Paxton said and in, in her speech about not being able to kill her child, not being able to use these resources of abortion so that her hopes and dreams and aspirations could be fulfilled. And that's the lie. That's what we have to be at the root at and to root out because babies do not kill dreams. Only abortion does that. Absolutely. And you wrote also that fertility is not at odds with a woman's dreams. You yourself, Leah, have six beautiful babies. Are you still able to chase after your dreams? What does that look like? Of course. I mean, I, I, and that's the beauty of being a mother. And I can understand there being a fear of going into motherhood and, and all the concerns we have because it is such a grand vocation. It's a beautiful vocation. But my babies have not kept me from my hopes and my dreams or aspirations. In fact, they've helped me dig a new path that's offered more clarity of what God has called me to be and, and contribution. My babies are a part of my dreams. They're a part of my hopes and my aspirations. And the world is is truly better for it because of my children and also for who I am because of my children in the world. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, Leah, a lot of celebrities and public figures were applauding this pro-abortion speech. So to the pro-life young women who feel as if they're in the minority with their pro-life views and maybe they feel nervous about speaking out in defense of life, what kind of encouragement would you like to offer those women? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, ultimately, our culture, we have to remember, our culture has slowly and systematically convinced us that motherhood is the enemy and motherhood is not a dream and it's not an aspiration and it's not a hope that young women should have. That is a lie. So just to encourage people to remember that this is a lie, motherhood is not a killer of dreams and a killer of hope by any by any means. I mean, we know that our blessed mother, our blessed mother is a mother of every hope and every dream and 
and every aspiration that should be at the foundation of our heart. So the role of motherhood really needs to be redeemed in our world. And then for, for extra encouragement, I would just encourage people to go to the Gospel of Mark, Mark 8, which says, For what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world but to lose his soul? And so we have to speak truth and we have to not worry about other people's opinions or their disagreement. But when we hold on to truth, we hold on to Christ. And that is where our heart should lie. That's beautiful. Well, thank you for speaking truth, Leah Darrow, and thank you for joining us. Amen. Thank you.